Of course, X-listing isn't simply about blowing up buildings because we don't like them. It's a much more positive process that at its heart is about improving the places where we live and work. And sometimes remodeling a building makes much better sense than demolishing it. Hundreds of you highlighted the problems of Cumbernauld Town Centre and called for the megastructure to be torn down. Last year, we flew in a posse of architects, planners and developers to come up with a new vision. But their approach wasn't what the people had asked for, as our quick-witted demolition troubleshooter spotted. What they asked for was, please demolish our town centre. No, and yeah, you're well, not I, demolishing it. The yeah, D word yeah, yeah, yeah. is we, something we that you are finding uh, very, we're, very we're hard. We're proposing to demolish a large amount of it, but the main so point remember. of their plea is that they've got a really crap town centre. Mm. And the point of this is to show that you could, out of some of what they've got, produce some real decent places. Our design team felt what Cumbernauld really needed was a proper high street. So their plan was to calm the traffic, turn the whole town centre inside out and make a pedestrian boulevard with ground level shops and cafes that face outwards. And the Reverend McKinnon was in for a treat too. The Design Hit Squad's most radical proposal is to take this approach to this extraordinary listed church and to extend it, cutting right through the ice rink across the road to the end of the megastructure beyond over there. That's creating this sort of beautiful pedestrian boulevard with a great big triumphal arch at the end of it. This is just the kind of bold new thinking our campaigners are looking for. Tom, Bobby and Billy have invited architect Gordon Murray, a member of the Design Hit Squad, to brief their community on our team's plans. But in some way start trying to create a centre out of the town uh, and do that on the ground. But although the community seemed delighted with the vision, North Lanarkshire Council was not. The council weren't happy with our programme and believed it painted an inaccurate picture of the town. In the local press, they stated, it is easy for a TV programme to come up with a clever makeover idea, but only local knowledge and an understanding of the economic and environmental factors at play can deliver a realistic development. The buildings that make up Cumbernauld Town Centre are in private ownership, but all the planning decisions are the responsibility of the council. Their planners have allowed retailers to surround the town centre with giant superstores. And their next initiative to halt the town centre's continuing decline is this, the new Antonine Centre, another retail shed, which they've started to build. But Cumbernauld's campaigners have not given up hope. North Lanarkshire Council's chief executive has promised that they will work with the community over the future of their town centre. So the campaigners are still expecting that our experts' ideas will be considered. But just as their first meeting is due to take place, our team's plans come under further attack. It's a huge kick in the teeth for the campaigners. Unsurprisingly, they're not happy. They're no good at just saying, I know best, and we have to believe them. They've got to prove that, that they know best, and justify it to the people. They've said that they'll work with us. Working with us yeah. means that they'll work with us. And from our point of view, we want these plans considered. Well, yeah, this is what we want. Because if you can't influence the outcome, that's not consultation, that's dictation. And as if it couldn't be any worse, Tom has bad news. The top-level officials they were hoping to meet won't be coming. We requested that Mr Porch be there. We requested that the Public Relations Department be there. If they're not there and they're saying it's because they've got a budget meeting, why the hell did they arrange the meeting for today? I don't know, but they're playing it. We think we're doing the right way. We're negotiating with these people. If they're genuine, fine. If they're not, we will find out this afternoon.